the Venter Guy. Hello everyone, it is the Banta Guy here and welcome back to Dark Souls. This is part 7. In the last part we cleared up a couple of optional bosses, Pinwheel and the Moonlight Butterfly. And because of that, I'm going to use a Humanity. Because we got something called the Rite of Kindling, which if we look at that in our inventory... Rite which boosts bonfires even further. Now if we toggle the display, the secret rite allows bonfires to be boosted further with Kindling, so that even more Estus can be collected. Now by that, basically you set up a bonfire, and you kindle. Now we go from 10 to 15, and then we go from 15 to 20. So basically this is a fully kindled flame, and as you can see, no humanity, but it basically would say cannot kindle further. It's just I don't have any humanity to kindle it anymore. But now in this part we are going down back into Blight Town. Um, and we're going to be dealing with some newish enemies, sort of. Um, basically, I'm going to Blight Town because we have a boss there that needs some handling, so, yeah. So let's just kind of keep going down. Here in New London Ruins, now we're going back up to Valley of Drakes. Now we could go a different way to Blight Town, we could go via the area that we unlocked when we killed the Capra Demon, which would be the Depths, and that subsequently leads to a boss which if you fight and kill you get the key to Blight Town, but we're going this way because the regular way is awful. It truly is awful. I'm just going to power past these guys, and power past this guy. Keep running, keep running. Now, I also want to equip a weapon because we're gonna have to fight someone and the bandit's knife does pretty damn good critical damage. So yeah. Hello, Mr. Crag Spider. Okay. So here we are back in Blight Town, which um, coincidentally is outside. So yeah. Blight Town is an interesting place, both in name and in location, really. We have another creature here, if we could lock onto it. There we go. Now, basically, because we're human, we can be invaded by, right on cue, Dark Spirit Manager Mildred, who is kind of annoying. And magic is pretty ineffective against her because she likes to dodge a lot, so, you know. Come on, Mildred, there we go. And she's pretty tough, she's got a fair amount of health. All I have to do is keep going around, keep backstabbing her, deal with something else. Just wanted to get rid of those damn bugs. She doesn't have much poise, so you can easily break her guard with her big butcher's knife. Come on, Manny Air, come on, we've got some stuff to do. It's kind of the only reason I'm killing her really is for souls. That's really the only reason. Come on. There we go. And she's dead. Dark Spirit Manager Mildred was vanquished. Now that there is really just to give you a taste of what uh, invasions are like and the sort of environment you're fighting in. We get the Butcher's Knife and three humanity and quite a few souls and a soft humanity. You get quite a lot of humanity for killing her, just in case you're wondering. We have an item here. We have a Dragon Scale which can be used to reinforce dragon weapons. Um, for one of two weapons you probably have by this point, one is the Drake Sword, which you can get by shooting arrows at the Hellkite Dragon's tail, and the other is the Dragon King Great Axe, which we shall be getting later. But for now, we shall light the bonfire. We're not going to sit at it. 
or shall we? Screw it, we're gonna sit at it. Because we do have quite a lot of stuff to do down here. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of crag spiders. Or spiders in general. Just keep going, keep going. Oh dear, we've been poisoned. Whatever shall we do? Damn it, I thought I would hit that spider. Crap. Mosquitoes, grab the item, large titanite shard, run away from the mosquitoes. We also have some uh, giants around here. I don't know if they're necessarily giants, they could just be, uh, well, I think they're actually supposed to be infested barbarians who got lost in Blighttown or something like that. Because you only find them in Blighttown for some random reason. They're the only thing, they're the only time you meet them are in Blighttown. And you only meet them in three places, you meet them down here and you meet them at the entrance from the depths into Blighttown and you also meet them in the entrance that we took to Blighttown so you only meet them in three places interesting anyway we're going to summon Manator Mildred, she will be our cannon fodder for tonight's entertainment and we're also going to screw it, we're going to use the purple moss just to get rid of the poison poison is not really all that fun hey Mildred we also have the Dragon Crest Shield, big for the blocking of the fire damage, which is what this next boss will do to us. So, by the looks of it, I'd say we're facing a spider. It truly is horrifying. Especially if you're arachnophobic, this is just... That's just hell. And then there's this. Now, don't ask about why they bother to show that she's a half-naked woman. I mean, it is a Japanese game, so... I guess I'm expecting all sorts from her, but... I don't think many people were expecting a half-naked spider lady. So yeah, we're going to use Mildred as cannon fodder and to do any damage she can. So yeah, basically I'm just wailing on her with some magic because... Quailag is weak to magic. And there's that shockwave. Now, that would probably do about two thirds of my health at this point. And we get the soul of Quailag. We also get some 20 manatees. And 20,000 souls. So you get quite a lot for killing Quailag. And also, we get to ring the second bell of awakening! Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Come to church! Come to church! Well, actually, one's an undead church and the other's a spider-infested lair. Doesn't sound very church-like to me. Oh my goodness, what have we done? We have awoken Grobby from Harry Potter! Oh dear! I must admit though, this Grobby is a lot less friendly than the other. But there we have unlocked a new area. We get a homeward bone and ring the bell, Quailag's Domain. So, 
Now, do you remember earlier how I said that what Pinwheel was in looked like a bit like the depths of hell? Yeah, I don't know how much you uh, know about hell, but from what I'm experiencing of this game and from what you'll eventually see, I'd say that this looks more like hell. The demon ruins, but if if Christianity wanted to get across how awful hell is, I'm pretty sure it's something like this is what they had in mind. Just tormented souls, flowing lava, whatever the bloody hell that is way over there, and all these fiery ruins. This honestly looks like hell. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to uh, avoid this area, for it does look pretty awful. And we're going to run back. Because we are nowhere near ready for this area. But having said that, there is one thing we can do down here. Let's go back to slightly less evil ruins and just more disgusting ruins, really. If you go over here, we have this area. Hello. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? Uh, yes, I believe I am. Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for Engi, but at the same time I don't, because he chose to serve that. Now I'm sorry, but Engi, if your boss or your lady looks like that, what really are you saying about yourself? I mean, I know I don't really like to really highlight some of these issues, but seriously. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, this is just ill. This is just really sick and just... I mean, look at it. It's It, it looks just dead. And she's looking dead, and it's looking dead, and... I mean, why are you serving this thing, Engie? Jeez. I mean, I suppose, though, it's interesting, because you can join the Covenant... Sh now, this is where you'd have the old witch's ring, because you can uh, talk to her if you have it. Now, she can reinforce Estes, we don't have a Firekeeper soul, though, but we're going to get one. You know we're going to do that? Sorry, all you fair lady fanboys out there, but she is going to die. First, we're going to enter the Covenant, though. We're going to be a Chaos Servant. And we get the Pyromancy Great Chaos Fireball. Covenant established. Now you can offer humanity to her, but we're not really doing that. So, um... Sorry, Engi, but your lady's going bye-bye. You're joining her. And then we get this disgustingness. So we get Egg Vermifuge and the Firekeeper Soul of the Fair Lady. Now, that needed to be done. I'm sorry, but that really just needed to be done. So, after that kind of traumatic event, we have one more thing to do. We're gonna go fight the boss of this area, of the Demon Ruins, so that we don't have to do it later, because I'd rather just get the disgustingness and the weirdness of this place over and done with. So if we head down here, 
hopefully not fall off, that would be lovely. And over we go. So, that was a boss door we just entered, we cannot leave it. I'm just gonna heal up a bit before we progress any further. But do you remember that thing that I said, what the bloody hell is that over there? Well, we're about to see what that bloody thing is, and it's not really all that bloody, it's just, um, fiery. It's on fire, and it's a ceaseless living creature, and by what you can see around yourself, it must be discharging a lot. Ceaseless? Crossover? Discharge? This thing is called Ceaseless Discharge. Which sounds like a side effect of a really painful, really disgusting STD. And based upon this thing, you don't want to know what STD it's got. I don't think anyone wants to know. But it looks really sort of sad, I guess. Because it was cursed by its own mother, essentially. We took that thing. Now you have to wait a little bit here so that it does this. Then you can run away from it. If you try to leave it and you get hung up on that thing, then it can cause problems. Like you dying. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. We're gonna get screwed. That doesn't rhyme. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm not really a rapper. So, just get past here. I think it's the trigger point is about here. Yep, yeah, there's the glitch. There it is. Die! And that's the end of Ceaseless Discharge. Goodbye, sir. You were a formidable fight. And the lava recedes. We get a humanity and homeward bone, and another 20,000 souls. So, now we have unlocked more of the demon ruins. And, um, yeah. This just looks like hell, I'm sorry, that's just... This place just looks formidable. Anyway. Down there is a golden door. Which we cannot get through until much later, so I'm just going to head back to the last bonfire we rested at. So here we are back in Blight Town, and I shall level up a wee bit. We only just have more intelligence. Yeah, that'll do for now. Now we're going to make our way back up to the surface. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. I've been the Bunty Guy, and I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Goodbye.